Right, I'm going to explain, hopefully, the, the main processes that we go through with uh, AES encryption. So AES encryption involves a, a number of rounds that, that we actually go through. So what we have, it's a symmetric key encryption method. So if we have Bob and we have Alice. Okay, so what we have is a symmetric, symmetric key, a secret key that they'll both use to be able to encrypt uh, the, the data. So initially what we have is our plain text. So our plain text goes in and the first stage is what we call the add the add round key. Okay, so we have the key itself and then the key is, uh, gets expanded in to uh, a number of byte blocks. So in each byte block we have four bytes of the key and each of these byte box goes into this add key round. And then after that we have what's called the substitution bytes or the S box. And from there we then shift, we do a shift rows. After that we do a shift column. And at the very end we do an add key round again. So we take the next four bytes of the key and then we add them in uh, to, to, to here. Okay, and then on the other side, we basically just do the opposite of it. So as we're coming through, uh, we do our add key round, we do our shift in reverse, we do our shift rows in reverse, we do our S box in reverse, and we do an add key round, and then we should end up with the plain text at, at, at the end. Okay, so that's the that's the basic steps that, that we actually go through to be able to encrypt. So let's have a look at each of these basic steps that, that, that we go through. AES takes, one, it takes 128 bits as a block. So we'll take the data and then I'll put each block into 128 bits chunks and then it's going to encrypt these and then send all the cipher blocks uh, together. The key itself can be 128 bits, 192 bits or 256 bits. So the way that we normally look at our, our blocks as they go in is a 4x4 four four matrix. So if you think about it, they have 16, 16 times 8 gives us our 128. Uh, bits. So we have our byte block here and what we're going to do is operate on that uh, to be able to process through to get uh, each of the the outputs here. Uh, we typically call that the state. So we take our data in here, we go through our, pro our basic processes and then uh, out the other end. Uh, the different uh, uh, key sizes will have a different number of rounds. Okay, uh, the first round is this one here, as we've seen before, and that is similar to the next round. So the next round does the S box, the shift rows, shift columns, and then the add key round and that's then repeated until we get to the last round which has a substitution box the shift rows and uh, has the add round key at the end so with 128 bits we have 10 rounds with 192 12 rounds and 256 we have 14 rounds Okay, so that's that's the basic steps that, that we actually go through. So the first place that we go into is what's called the X S box. 
So with the S box, we take our bytes, let's say 34, and then we look up the column, 3x down to fx, and then 0, 0, 0, x1, x2, x3, and sorry, put it the other way around. So it's 1, 0, x, 1, x, 2, x, 3, x, and then down here we have x0, x1, x2, x3, and so on. So in this case, 34 will give us the value which is here. Okay, we have a 3 and a 4. So the value there is then used to go into the next step. So for each of the each of the bytes, we do a lookup on the first first the least significant four bits and then the next four bits, and we'll find the substitution value. On the other side, we have the inverse S box, which we do the same, and what we should end up with is the same value as we have here. So I'll just take an example of 34. So 34 in this case is uh, uh, 1 8 hex. And then over here on our inverse S box, so that would happen over here to do the reverse of the S box. So we have 18 hex. 18 hex gives us 34. That's correct. Okay. So in this way, we can actually scramble the, the data by feeding it into the S box. And then on the other side, we have a reverse S box. The next row that it goes into is what's called the shift row transformation. So we went through the S box. It should have transformed our, our 18, our 16 bytes. In this case, it goes to 18 hex. And the next step that we do, what we have is that uh, we transform the rows in a certain way. So the first row stays unchanged. So in this case, it would do 1, 2, 3, 4. The second row uh, does one byte circular shift to the left. So we'll get 6, 7, 8, and then 5 comes round. The third row gets shifted by 2, 11, 12, 9, 10. And then the fourth row has a 4, 3 byte. So 1, 2, 3, ends up with 16, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that uh, uh, shifts the, the bytes. So i just show you that in code, and I'll show you the S box uh, there too. So what I've got here is some Python code. So that's what the Xbox looks like, and the inverse S box. And uh, so let's just take our state as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 16 there. And we'll put that into the S box. And we'll do uh, an inverse S box, and we'll see what we end up with. OK. So there we go. So it's just at the start there. So we can see the output of the S box is 1 to 4, 1, 19, 123. And then the inverse that we have takes us back to 1 to 16. So we can see that that has worked perfectly for our S box and our inverse S box. For our columns, so I'm going to feed in and for our rows, let's see if we can find our rows. Here. For our rows, what we'll do is we'll feed in 1 to 16. And then we'll have a look to see, uh, we'll just print rows here so we know where we are. Uh, so we'll feed in 1 to 16 as we did here. And then we'll do a shift, and then we'll do an inverse shift. So with inverse shift, we shift uh, right rather than, than left. Okay, so we'll just save that, and we'll just see how our code goes there. 
Okay, so there's uh, one, two, three, four, five. So you can see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. From there, so this is the this is it after. So this is the shift here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then uh, six, seven. Six, seven. Eight, five. Eight, five. Eleven, twelve. Eleven, twelve. Nine, ten, and so on. And then when we do an inverse shift, this is what we end up back again. Okay. So this uh, shift rows has actually worked okay if you want to see the python code for that oops uh, there it's there okay so this is just the code to do that shift that that we sh that we saw there okay so that's uh that's showing you the uh, the shift rows so that that part is this part here. So we've been through the S box. We've now gone into the shift rows, and then the inverse of that is to be able to do the the right, and then that just happens on the other side. And then the next one that we do is we have what's called the mix column. So for the mix column, we use uh, we use a multiplication here, matrix multiplication. Okay, so we take a column. A0, A1, A2, A3. So in our state, we take a column and then we multiply it in a matrix way. And with this, we do a, we do a dot product. So the, the multiplication that we have, we don't have any carry forwards and so on. So we take these values. And 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 1, 2, and we take our inputs from the column. We'll take our column input, we'll multiply it by this, and then we'll get that as a remainder. So that's equal to uh, 2 times A0, 3 times A1, 1 times A2, and 1 times A3 will give us the new value of, of our column. So we should end up with four values here for our new column. So we're going down each value and then we're multiplying it by this, this matrix. Doing a matrix, uh, we're doing a, a modulo two multiplication here. Uh, and then what we have after that, we take each column uh, one at a time. The inverse of it is this inverse here. So hopefully once we do we multiply that these values back again by this matrix. We should end up with the same uh, the same value as we have as an input. Okay, so let's actually have a look at the code for that one. Okay, so where are we? We're just down here. Okay, so this is the mixed column here. So I just identify that there. Okay, so I'm just going to take one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four as as a column. So we have uh, two, three, one, 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 two, three, one, 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 two, three, three, one, one, two. I'm going to multiply by one, two, three, four, and see what we get. So that should be two plus six plus three plus four. Okay, and we'll see what we get. So that's going to go into the mix column, and then we'll do an inverse mix and see where we are. So let's just have a look at the code for that first. Okay, uh, so that's that's how you do the, the multiplication there. So there's our values in there. So there's one, th one, two, three, one, 
one, two, three on that operation. And then there's the inverse of it, as we said, with 9, 11, 13, and 14. So now let's run this. Let's see what values we get. Okay, so uh, the values that we get on the output when we do our 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 matrix multiplication is three, four, nine, and ten uh, for the new values with a one, two, three, four in, and then we do, when we do the reverse, we get one, two, three, and four. So the multiplication is 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 different as as we can see here uh, because we're really just operating. Uh, using the exclusive, uh, the unexclusive or operation there for it, and then we're using this method here. To be able to do the multiplication. And we're looking for Gallius. there okay so that's that's our a little multiplication that that we do there but then we have the exclusive or operator to exclusive or all the values back uh, again okay so that's the mixed column transformation and then in the last round uh, what we do is we we add a, we have a key expand the key expand uh, is just a method that we can actually take uh, our 32 byte key if it's 100, uh, 256 bytes and then we expand it into 240 bytes which is then used for our 14 uh, rounds that, that we have in 256. So this is an example of a key here with these byte values and you can see there are 32 there and then we expand them out there. Okay so we should be able to see that so uh, uh, the method that we use here so there's the the values that we have here i'm going to take these values and then expand our key out to give us uh, our resulting key that we're going to use for each of the rounds it just allows us to scramble a little bit more okay so here is the key here that's been expanded there's the input key, and then there's the expansion of the key there. And the the very last thing within each round is what we call add round key. So it also does it at the start and then after each, uh, at, at the end of each round, and all it is, is that we take our state, which is obviously the 16 values, we're taking it from the mixed column state, and then we exclusive or it with our, with our round uh, key. So in this case, we take 16 bytes of the key, uh, and then we, we, use, we take the 16 bytes of the key, we expand the key out, uh, and then we take 16 bytes each time uh, that's uh, four words each time, and we exclusive or each of the bytes with uh, the, the states. So we take the state, 16 bytes of our matrix, and then we take 16 bytes of the key. So we take 16 bytes at a time of the key, expanded key, and then we exclusive or them together. So there's the there's the the Python code there. And the easy thing with the add round key is on the other side, all we have to do is exclusive or it in the same way. So there's no complex mathematics in this round. It's just a matter of XORing uh, the two of them uh, together.